channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a straight back cornrow braid on my hair. So I'm going to be using the 3-in-1 Ghana Expression hair and it is pre-stretched. So with no further ado, let's jump straight into this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Now let's start. So I did comb out my hair, like the tangles and everything, add my little products. So my hair is not completely you know, not moisturized, yeah. So, for me, I'm going to be adding two rows of um, knotless braids at the back just to reduce tension from the corner um, around the back of my hair. So, I'm going to be doing those first. So, I'm just going to be taking the hair out of the pack. Okay, so this is the hair. So, to do the knotless, I'm just going to be separating small pieces. So that I can feed in the hair. So small pieces. And you just want to put them anywhere. But make sure they're near to you so you can easily just grab them. So I'm going to be using the Shine Hair Gel Wax and some Blue Magic hair and scalp conditioner on my hair. Now this will hold my hair in place and also provide shine and this will give me moisture on my real hair underneath the braid. What I do first is to ensure that I use the Shine Hair Wax Gel on the scalp of the hair and then I use the Blue Magic hair and scalp conditioner on the ends to make sure my hair is shiny and moisturized. So now I'm going to actually start the knotless. So as you can see, I divided the hair into three sections and I start with the plait. But instantly as you start making the plait, you want to start feeding hair. And you want to make sure that the hair that you're feeding in, it is a small piece. And you just feed it in. As you can see, I tucked it in very tightly. You want to grab the ear very tight because you want the ear, you want the ear look sleek. You get me? And then now you just continue braiding down. Now you want to take the hair wax gel and you're going to put that on your natural hair so that it blends in with the braid. Now this ensures that your hair is really tucked in and you don't have no hair coming out or sticking out of the braid and gives you a longer hold with your natural hair in the braid. So I took about a couple minutes off camera and parted my hair. So this is the best parting I am going to get. So I'm just going to start on the front section. Wax gel. I am going to add it to the entire part. On that sweet look. And I'm going to add the blue magic to the end of the hair.
I'm using the Shine Hair Wax Gel to comb out my edges out of the corner because I want to do some dramatic and you know some extra edges and then you want to ensure that you put a lot of the, the hair wax on the part because it gives a more just just the ear style fresh out of the salon and it gives it a really nicer look. my hair is thick I started adding hair um, I want to say mid mid section of the braid because I already have a lot of hair on my head I and I add a lot of small pieces and then when you're coming towards the end of the corner you start adding big pieces to get the size of the braid that you want and you keep um, feeding in braid to get the length that you want Don't forget to check me out on all my socials because girls won't be taking a lot of pictures. <laughs> but I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.